Hello, good morning and welcome. It's uh, Christmas Eve, it's the 24th of December. I'd just like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and happy trading. Um, now we'll start on the uh, CFTC review with the Australian dollar. And uh, the speculators have dropped a massive amount of contracts. They've actually dropped um, 55,000 contracts uh, long and they've actually taken now a short position. So the commercials, because they're hedges, have basically done exactly the same thing. So um, if we have a look at uh, the chart, you can see uh, we've moved up uh, off the bottom here and uh, we've got to 77 just over, and I've got a sell limit uh, just above. I think there's limited more upside to this, uh, quite honestly. Uh, the the change in open interest was absolutely uh, massive. So we've got a drop in open interest of about a third of the total that we've got left. So I, I don't think there's much more upside to this. Uh, a, a drop in open interest, uh, which is quite large, is fairly bearish for the currency. And as you can see, I've been following this the last few weeks or two or three weeks. And uh, I'm waiting for it to come up over and break down um, on the uh, on the trend line. So uh, it's interesting to see what will happen next week. But I am I am still bearish of this pair. So uh, we'll have a look how that goes uh, next week. Uh, British pound. Come on. There we go. We have got uh, a fairly extreme bearish position. Uh, if I just put it on a two-year chart, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is this is fairly bearish. Three-year chart, yeah, three-year bearish position over the last few months, apart from this one here. So uh, we are fairly bearish of the uh, of the British pound. Uh, um, we've got a commercial short ratio of one point three nine to one. Which, as I said before, it's not a fair. It isn't a very large figure, but the fact uh, that the commercials have been bullish of this pair for such a long time uh, that actually is a, a, an extreme bearish position. So we are expecting uh, for this um, for this support that we're at at the moment to break and uh, for a move down. Um, I, I was saying about one point two nine, which is sort of uh, down on this um, support line here. So we'll see how that goes. We are actually facing down and uh, we're only just above the 50 on the RSI. There we go. Canadian dollar. Uh, we're still a uh, bearish um, uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, the position hasn't changed a lot over the last six or seven weeks. Uh, we've been having this sideways movement, slightly up, slightly down. But um, I am buying the uh, pullbacks. And so if we just go and have a quick look at the chart, uh, we've got a commercial short ratio of 2.31 to 1. Uh, so um, I've got my trend line up. And when the RSI cuts it, uh, I was expecting for a little bit more weakness on the pair before it moves back up. So uh, we might um, get, uh, well, we will get another trade in when we cut the um, trend line there. So there you go, uh, Euro dollar. So we've lost a little bit of the extreme there, but, but we're still a very um, high um, bearish position by the commercials. So uh, if we just have a look at the chart, um, it, it is, an extreme over quite a few uh, years. I think it's about five year bearish position uh, that the uh, commercials have taken. Uh, we've seen a, a little bit of a move off the highs, expecting more weakness in this. We've got a commercial short ratio of 1.63 to 1, uh, the same as with the British pound. This is an extreme position over five years. So um, the uh, RSI has come up and started turning back down. And I think we're looking to see more weakness uh, in January with this. Let's go and have a look at the Japanese yen. Japanese yen. 
the commercials are still uh, on a bullish stance with the Japanese yen. Uh, I think over the next six months we're going to see quite a nice um, rise in the Japanese yen. So if we just have a look at the charts, whoops, a daisies, still on it. Okay, whoops. Commercial short ratio has increased this week slightly to 5.53 to 1. So that's uh, long for the Japanese yen, short for the pair. Uh, we've come up quite nicely and uh, started showing a bit of weakness and I'm expecting this to move down um, over the next few weeks so uh, I've already got uh, one position short I prefer this on the crosses as I've said before uh, the RSI is quite high uh, but it is slightly pointing down um, we're just about 56 we'll see how that goes uh, over the uh, holiday period Swiss franc, any time now, yeah. So uh, we saw again the uh, speculators uh, lost quite a lot of their bearish um, position and uh, the commercials have followed suit. But we, we're still uh, bullish uh, for this uh, currency. The um, It's still a fairly extreme bullish position that we've got for the year. Um, and uh, I'm expecting more strength in the Swiss franc. So I'll just have a look at the chart. Uh, we're just above the 50 on the RSI and we've got a commercials long ratio slightly increased this week to 4.63 to 1. So um, we're expecting weakness to unfold in, in, this, um, in this pair uh, and a move down. We, we'll see how far it goes but um, you know, I, I would have thought recent lows would have been achievable. Uh, New Zealand dollar, let's just find the... New Zealand dollar, well, it's actually, if you look at, if you look at the uh, chart, uh, we've seen a bit of sideways movement. We have come up nicely off the bottom and we've seen a bit of sideways movement. And uh, this week, the, um, the commercials have increased their long position. So now that's uh, an extreme for the year, or is it two years? Yep, two years. So that's an extremely bullish position that they're taking for the uh, New Zealand dollar. So um, like I said before, uh, I would like to short this pair. Uh, I would short it more on the crosses. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're showing a bit more strength for it. But on the other hand, conversely, we have actually uh, lost quite a lot of open interest uh, on, on this. So that, that is a bit bearish for it. And I think it does look like it's running out of the upside. So we'll see. Maybe it can make it up here to the 69.1 before it crashes back down, giving us a better sell signal. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I'll just do the USD index. We've still got a fairly uh, bullish uh, position taken by the commercials, uh, but um, we, we have seen a, a little bit of, of a decline on it there, but it still is uh, like a, about a five year, fairly bullish position for, for the uh, US dollar. Uh, Mexican peso. Uh, we've seen a, a big increase in the value of the, uh, sorry, a big decrease in the value of the Mexican peso over the last week. And obviously the commercials have, have lost some of their bearish stance, but uh, they're still bears. And I, I see the Mexican peso is going far lower. So um, I've still got my trade on from about uh, six months ago. So uh, we'll see where that goes. Crude oil. We've still got an extreme uh, bearish position uh, for crude oil. I'm see, uh, I'm expecting a lot, uh, a lot of weakness in that. So I have got a trade in. Uh, it's on my members centre, so um, that's what we're doing there. Metals, silver, <coughs> uh, silver, uh, a, a fairly bullish 
position for the commercials. We've seen actually, we've seen a rise in the price of the silver and the uh, commercials have got even more bullish of it. So uh, we'll, we'll see uh, where that goes. Uh, but uh, I would want to sell it back down. I'll, I'll put a trend line on the RSI and uh, if it gets up nice and high and comes back down, I'll, I'll be trading that short. Uh, okay, well, I'm on platinum. I got knocked out of my platinum trade. Um, we, we've got a fairly bullish position now on platinum. I'm gonna wait to see where that goes. Um, if it goes back up to recent highs, I might sell it back down. Um, it was a fairly cheap trade. There wasn't much in it. Um, didn't pay a lot of swaps. So uh, that, that is something I'm quite interested in when I'm, I'm trading over a period. So uh, I think I'll be having an, another little um, uh, trade with Platinum. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and have a great Christmas and uh, hopefully see you uh, next week.